Pride is the devil. I think you got a hold on me. Pride is the devil. Welcome to One Must Gen About a Tarot. My name is One and I'm your spiritual advisor. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yes, listen, don't get on my head. Like, I, I know it be a couple days in between reading, but this got to uh, recharge, rejuvenate. Yes, I love this. Look, we're just going to hop right into it, all right? Pride is the devil is what I heard. Pride is the devil. Uh, in regards to love and relationships, we want to see how pride is the devil in regards to our connections. This is what we're talking about. Love. Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Period. You Do you hear the oven in the background? Something baking. Something is uh, done. That's right. That's what the bell means when it rings, right? It means it's done, all right? Pride is the devil in these relationships. Pride is the devil and oh my god, two of cups. Bitch, the whole cake. All right. Don't let pride be the devil and ruin a beautiful connection. Why? What they had said. The world. Ace of Pentacles here. Pride is the devil. Ruining beautiful things, beautiful legacies here. Pride is the devil. Afraid to give it all up for somebody. Afraid to be vulnerable. Oh, that's what they had said. Somebody wavering back on a, uh, on a decision. Don't know if that's the one. That, uh, is, that's the one. Look at that. Six of Pentacles. Going back to only two people uh, in this, right? You see this. What? That's what they had said. <laughs> that's the key. Being devoted to one that reminds me of uh, that meme going around when they were talking about uh, rich folks in the world, uh, richest men, and all that, or something like that. And he was like, What is the key to uh, the world's richest men? It's like you find that one woman, what? But they had said again, <laughs> you find that one woman and you invest and, and you give that one woman the world, that's it. But that one woman here right that's the key let me uh, get this oven because it's done it's, it's, it's baked okay uh, world card ace of pentacles it's ready okay yep that's what it has said alright don't ruin a good thing why does the devil somebody gotta hold on somebody though right because the love is here. The bond is here with the two of cups. The partnership is here. Okay, the ability to build a legacy and pour into each other is here with the ace of pentacles. And the six of pentacles. This is a new beginning in love. All right, don't let pride be the devil here. Okay, let's clarify this ace of pentacles. This ace of um, cups here. Woo! I'm feeling like it's like when you go to um, when you go to Vegas and 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 you hit and you win it big, right? Look at this Ace of uh, Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, Divine Partnership, Ace of Pentacles, everything in the bag, solid uh, future, Six of Pentacles. Here you go to uh, Vegas, you hit and you win, right? You win on the table, big huge jackpot. Are you playing? Are you been playing? You lost a couple hands, but now you finally up. You got all the cards, like you about to. I mean, I don't know, I don't gamble, but I'm just saying, you had win and you was up and you got this big. Jackpot is is here. Like everybody know you won. You can see that you won. But instead of grabbing the hand and grabbing all your winnings and walking away from the table, pride is a devil. You keep gambling. Okay, you keep gambling until you uh, lose a good thing. That's how pride can be the devil in relationships. Okay, if you got the winning hand, why are you still playing? Get the fuck up from the table. Play the cards and get up from the table. Okay. What's this Ace of Cups? Having that pride and acting like you don't see what's before you. It's the devil. Look at that. Four of Cups here. Um, clarifying this Ace of Cups. Yes, pride can be the devil because... 
You supposed to read the book God gave you, right? <laughs> Four of Cups is regret. Four of Cups is, is loss. It's having a beautiful opportunity setting before you, but because you're so focused on other things here, instead of reading the uh, the diary that's hand that's at hand, right? The book that God had gave you, the one that God had told you to read. All right. What's this two of cups? Yeah, somebody's looking back over uh, <laughs> pride. Pride. Somebody's looking back over time and realizing, like, dang, I had, I, I really had a, uh, I, I had it all right here. Let me go back and look at this again. Here, look at that. Now your person wants to invest. King of Pentacles, realizing that you know what I had all along. Okay. It was a beautiful thing. Why throw away a winning hand? Uh, pride. Right? Pride. If you have a beautiful relationship, a beautiful opportunity to have something magical with someone, why would pride, why would you let pride ruin that? Okay? Look, this uh, King of Pentacles clarifying this uh, Ace of Pentacles said this was a good, this was a sure bet all along here. Okay, clarify this Ace of Pentacles. Uniform, right. Now, because of your pride, all right, because of overplaying your hand or not walking away from the table when you had the winnings, right? When you had all the glory, when you had all the riches. There was an ending here on something that could have built something major, right? Or it could be like that if you don't get your shit together. That Ten of Pentacles judgment. Somebody making a call that they have to that you, you they have to walk away. Or you're making a call that you have to walk away because your person didn't understand what they had in you. Run away. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I feel like your person is uh again coming back. They going back looking at the tapes like, damn, why did I do that? Look at her. I'm like, why did I have? Why did I do that? Had the whole had everything in your head right here, in perfect clear print. Okay, no no funny business. The writing was legible. Okay, Ace of Pentacles, Two of Cups. Ace of, uh, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Everything is here. What is the Six of Pentacles here? Yeah, you look. Uh, your person's looking back. And how did I? How did? How did I go wrong? What did I go wrong? How did I fuck that up? Oh, pride is the devil. What is the Six of Pentacles here? Somebody uh, definitely realizing that misjudgment caused them to lose out on something. Amazing, something phenomenal here. Why? Because they couldn't let some go. What is this? Uh, Six of Pentacles? Yeah. Look at this. Seven of Pentacles here. Somebody felt like they were the only one uh, doing all the work, basically, here. Doing all the work to make everything happen. Doing all the work to make somebody see. Doing all the work. And now that your person's looking back, it's like, you know what? Uh, that is true. <laughs> when I, I mean, uh, th this is a singular effort here. And somebody felt like, okay, I did everything on my end. Right? Look at that. That's hitting the target here. Right? Only for it to still end up in a folly. Having to walk away after all that shit. Right? Somebody got tired of waiting on somebody to uh to step up. Here. Now somebody gets it. Now somebody, your person gets it. They understand after the fact. But at what cost now? You know, they're realizing that. Not seeing uh, what's before you, pride. Can cost you everything. Now your their person's having to put aside their pride to try and go back and rectify this. All right, hoping that it's not too late. 
hoping that they could resurrect an ending, uh, uh, a separation here. Hoping that they'll be able to get you to collect us to, you know, uh, reinvest that energy here. That's up to you. I mean, like I said, with the cards here on the table, everything, like I said, it's, it's, this was something beautiful. And somebody fucked it up by taking too long. Also, possibly taking their time when they knew uh, they had the win in hand. Maybe they played the wrong. Maybe they got greedy. I don't know. Okay. But yeah, it's, it's, they definitely killed an opportunity to have a, an amazing legacy here. Because this is the Ace of Pentacles in the World Card. World is ending. And then we have the Ten of Swords here. And that is judgment. Somebody made a bad judgment call here. When they had the winning fucking hand. Uh, okay? Why? Pride. Pride about what? What was the pride about? Faithfulness. Somebody's inability to be faithful. I got faithfulness, friend, reunion, foe. What is this Ace of Cups? Hide in the devil. Yeah, look at this. A constellation. So your person is wanting to uh, come through for a new beginning uh, with you. Every time I see this, uh, every time I see it, it's like he's, he's getting advice. But uh, I, every time I see this constellation, I always I get the price is right <laughs> with the King of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles here. I always hear that uh, music and see the game show. Somebody was playing games. Uh, now it's like, how big is the constellation prize for you to be able to uh, get a new beginning and, and try and reverse the hands of time and get back with this person? Right. They're trying to figure it out. But they even a uh, consultant. Uh, they're even in prayer. Everybody even be consulting friends on, dang, what is it going to take? You know, I fumbled. I basically fumbled the bag. What is it going to take uh, to get this back, to get this person to take me back here? What else? Oh, look at that. Enemy. Clarifying the two of cups here. This person was acting like an, en uh, an enemy in your own relationship. Or maybe this person behaved at you towards time. Maybe this person saw you as an enemy. An enemy. That's weirdo energy, right? But again, it's the Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. Like the, everything was there to show that this was good. But because this person, I feel like they got advice from a friend or something like that, a family member. Somebody was hating and uh, turned their heart, you know, was working against this connection that had your person uh dealing with you like you were the enemy and and they begin to act towards you like they were your enemy <laughs> when again this was a a clear connection that had chemistry in the making to be something amazing here pride in the devil yeah younger woman here all right and then, uh this young lady what she got red hair this a blonde hair yeah their person was investing in uh other people other women um, maybe if you are older in a uh, older relationship or been in a relationship for a young, long time or whatever, maybe they were, uh, cheating on you and investing in, uh, younger women or something like that. Okay. Pride is a devil doing something because they have the ability to, even though they have a great and amazing thing, um, at home here. All right. This person felt like you was going to, uh, wait on them constancy in the letter. Here, you could be expecting communication from your person um, about this, but this energy is giving me like, uh, don't, don't, don't hold your breath because you knew, you knew what it was. Somebody felt like somebody would always be uh, waiting for them um, at home here. All right. Somebody's going to be receiving or you're going to be receiving some information, maybe some text messages, maybe you see a post. I don't know, social media everything today, but you're going to get some information that's going to um, show you that you're... <laughs> Again, your person had too much pride, too much ego. Okay? We're on the good thing here. They're hoping you're going to take them back. Look at this. Yeah. They're hoping you're going to take them back. Here. But the proof is in the pudding is what I just heard. And it's like, how you do that? How you, you know, somebody is really 
uh, disgusted. That's why this judgment card, she said, nigga, you ain't gave me no choice. And this is, you know, like, how could you ruin what we have here? How, well, what we, the, 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 the foundations of what we have this you know, like such a beautiful thing here. This is girl's like, ugh, I can't believe like just pure, someone is in pure disgust over how someone else, ru how, uh, or you are in pure disgust over how your person ruined this beautiful relationship you had. And, and, uh, you watch them or maybe seen them and, and, and invest in others when, I mean, look at, look at this. This is a relationship where this is in sync here. You see how beautiful this energy is? They're walking in sync together. A perfect, the perfect combination. God bless you and me. You had a praying woman, a beautiful uh, connection here. And they just, uh-uh. And you couldn't even believe it. You're going to get some information or find out somebody was creeping. You, you just can't even believe that they would even... Uh, ruin something like this but look with the um with the hope card here all right and this four cups is <laughs> somebody trying to get themselves together to figure out how they're going to come to you and uh try and salvage this relationship after this beautiful beautiful relationship after they drop the ball uh pride uh you know sometimes they say a lot of people um, or, or men, they sometimes they indulge in a lot of women because it makes them feel secure, it makes them feel more manly, some bullshit like that. You know what I mean? And and because it is it's one thing that when y'all just when y'all just date and y'all gotta understand it and okay, you seeing them, they seeing whoever, blah 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 blah. But when you have a divine, you know, divine connection, right? Like well, you see, you know, I don't care. You get that little feeling in your stomach, like you, you know, right? Like something, like okay, this, this is it. You ain't slow. I don't care. Divine connections have a certain energy. Like I don't care. You ain't gonna play nobody, uh, play me like I'm crazy. Don't let nobody uh, play you like you crazy. Like oh, they didn't know. You know what I mean? Like them motherfuckers be knowing. But anyway, when you have those type of connections, and then you have, you know, look, young woman. Or some outsider comes, tries to come. You got to know that is the devil. That is the enemy. Okay? Period. Anything outside this union, anything outside your woman, anything outside, that is the enemy. Sent to destroy. Okay? And then when you start having sex and, and all that with people that are outside of your covenant. Okay? And then you come home to, you You hate yourself. You hell, you disgusted with yourself. Look at them. Because you are engaging in uh, energies and connections that you are that are not ordained, ordained, okay, spiritually, you come home treating this beautiful person, your beautiful partner, like they're the en uh, like they're the enemy. Because you mad at yourself, you're disgusted with yourself. I mean, it may feel good for a second, but after the fact, you don't let this devil into your household, into your relationship, into your bond. What is this King of Pentacles? Now you're hoping to turn everything around. Now you're realizing uh, after the fact that the person that you chose over your person or entertained over your person, probably was the devil, was the enemy, was the devil that cost you. All right. You're losing hope that you'll be able to get your person back after playing them for another person. What is this King of Pentacles here? And the person that you were uh, entertaining is a, is a direct, probably, enemy of your person. Okay? Or vice versa. Um, collective, they're entertaining somebody that don't fuck with you, don't like you, know about you. Okay? That's even worse. What is this King of Pentacles? But I definitely feel like um, your person is, is they, they, they know they need to come around and say something to you. Okay. Frivolity. This was in reverse though. Here with the bu butterfly. This is somebody treating a, a magical thing as if it was common. They knew what they had with you. Okay. And they gambled and they lost. They gambled being greedy when they knew they had a beautiful person, a beautiful connection. You guys have an amazing future to, uh, together. 
They may have even gotten a, um, a reading on you or consulted. You know, everybody ain't spiritual. Everybody ain't into tarot. You know, you may be, but your person may not. But you're, again, with this consolation, your person may have consulted. You know, maybe their priest or a good uncle or, or somebody. And it's just, you know, they, they're even telling them, like, man, is you dumb? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, why would you do that? Go clean that up with your person, you know? So they're... They're getting schooled and, 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 and maybe getting advice from someone that is teaching them the ways of true relationships, true companionships, saying, hey, don't go in playing, go in saying what the fuck you had did, but realize when you have a good thing here, you can't treat something that's beautiful, you can't treat something that's precious, you can't treat something that's honorable, you can't treat something that's sacred, you know what I mean? Like when you ask for a partner and God delivers that to you, and they, they might not check all 100 boxes, but damn it, if they check 87 <laughs> you know what I mean? That's a pretty good fucking hand, right? You don't treat those things as common. You don't treat those things as frivolous here. And now somebody is re uh, regretting treating you, Divine Feminine, or Divine Masculine, however this applies to you, as a frivolous thing here. And also investing in shit that was frivolous. Investing in shit that had no fruit. Investing in the enemy here. What's this judgment in this Ten of Swords? You know, how are you messing with a bitch or a nigga beneath me? Is what you feel like. Okay, can't believe it. Service. All right. Again, your person feels like you held open the door for the enemy to destroy your relationship, to destroy your future together here, whoever. And this is, uh, this, and this was a prostitute. Uh, somebody in the neighborhood that was a hoe, young woman on the service. All right, you you didn't even betray them. That's that's why this person is disgusted. You didn't even betray them with somebody. It's like, oh, okay, I met somebody and I'm feeling shorty and I kind of like shorty and maybe we gonna have a relationship. You betrayed your divine sacred union for a whore for some prostitutes here. Okay, that's why your person is disgusted. Okay. Like, what the fuck were you thinking? This is for somebody here. This is what your person did to you. You couldn't believe who they cheated on you with. You know, you could probably understand if, you know, y'all had a relationship and maybe stuff fell off, got stagnant or whatever, and they met somebody and it's like, okay, I mean, I don't know. At least I feel like that's how she go and mature shit. You know, everybody ain't equally fucking yoked. So if you wake up one day and you're like, okay, we're not equally fucking yoked, and your person finds somebody that they are yoked and they decide to enter a relationship with, that's one thing. You know, you can't really hate on that. But this is some horse shit here. This is some horse shit here. But on top of that, again, you guys have a divine union here. So it's not even like, you know, that's why this person is like, nah, nah. Mm -mm. I, I can't. They feel like they can't look. They can't look away from that. There's no they wonder how you're going to come back from that, you know? And I feel like this person always had this into uh, this intuition about it. What is this seven of pentacles? Yeah, you had this. You had this person's whole fucking heart. Yeah. You can't even go back now. I feel like somebody can't even go back to a divine relationship because they're infected with some type of disease. And I say that because, uh, like, you you knew. Uh, you were a target, okay? The devil, pride, go, pride goes with the, uh, pride is the devil. Pride is the devil. You know, played yourself out of a divine relationship. Uh, you were a target the, uh, the whole time here with this seven of pentacles here. Look at that. Uh, sent the enemy to you. Sent this person for you to cheat on your divine uh, connection. Or they sent, you know, your person was sent someone uh, by the devil to ruin this connection here. They know it was love. We have love, surprise, doctor, and servant, okay? Your person can't even, they can't even come back to you if they wanted to. And I hope that you guys are out there using protection. If you haven't been, go to the doctor ASAP. Once you get that clear fucking letter. Yeah, somebody waiting on some results, Okay. Look at that with the letter and the constancy like shit this nigga been fucking cheating I hope okay so make sure you go ahead and do that but I'm speaking victory uh, and, and, and success over your life so once you get back that clean build of health then, then go on about your business but yeah 
uh, your person, uh, they, they can't even come back if they want to because the love of their life, surprise, because they were fishing in other motherfucking seas, all right, dipping and dabbling and all that with clear fucking whores, uh, doctor visit, this bitch been sick, been knew she was sick, all right, look, servant, there was some whore, they was fucking with whores, done caught some, can't even come back, can't even come back, okay, can't even come back, I don't even know who, who your person is consulting or trying to figure out, but yeah, I mean, depending on what you got is uh, curable, but if it ain't, I mean, fuck. Shit, and you don't put your person's, you know, your person's life in danger. Also, that's why it's important on knowing who you are sleeping with and who you are entertaining here. All right. But this is really this is really unfortunate because, again, on the board, it was clear. It was obvious you, there. This is a divine connection. The ace of cups, the two of cups, the ace of pentacles, the six of pentacles here. Okay, uh, your person had the whole fucking world in their hands, but because they uh, pride as the devil could went out and stepped out on this relationship, ended up sleeping with the fucking enemy, then caught some shit. All right. If they were still fucking with you, now you got to worry about your health and your pH balance. Women will always let you know here. Now they're asked out. This is unfortunate. Let me get the love oracles. This is very fucking unfortunate here. Pride is the devil. Don't don't overplay your hand. If you go to Vegas and you hit the motherfucking bag, whoa! Go cash your chips in. You had all the chips and you kept on kept on gambling, kept on gambling till you lost every fucking thing. You may have been a good gambler before, but not this time. Not this time. Now you want to come back anew, new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, grow, change your mind. Oh, I done changed my ways. Yeah, after the fact, after dragging your person uh, or, or them dragging you through all this, now they want to begin anew. But no, I feel like you're going to, once you get this clean bill of health, after you go get your checkups and, and all that, ladies and men and all that, and uh, God blesses you with a clean bill, this is a transformation from you and a tough a lesson learned, a lesson in your own self-worth here. Uh, people will try to convince you that they don't know what they have when, when they're with you. They don't know who you are. They fucking know. They fucking know. Okay? These people know. Don't let nobody waste your time. All right? Uh, clear that energy and open the door up for somebody that will know immediately when they see it. Because people out here playing with, with, with your health, they out here fucking people that you know. Probably your girlfriend, your buddy, somebody. That these people are just not worth it, and they know what they have when they're when they're with you. Look at this keys on a ring. Too many options, decisions, unconventional, string along, one night stand. Ain't that what the fuck I had said? Ain't that what I had said? Service, service. Here they was cheating the whores, and for some of you, this is not for everybody. Your person was also on the down low. Okay, period, period. Your person may have an addiction here. Or something like that sexual addiction. I just like fucking. All right. But for some people, your person was on the down low here. All right. You're going to get some, um, you're going to get a revelation about that. You're going to get a message. Hell, I am the messenger. This is one message in the bottle, ain't it? Okay. What else? Yeah. Soulmates. Bitch, Brad said. Soulmate connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract, motherfucking coffin. It's done. Finito. Endings. Bringing new beginnings. Growth, change, liberation. Yes. For you, not for your person. Not for your person. And for some, uh, no, no tea, no shade. You can't even come back because, again, you might have something that ain't curable. You are seeing the fucking doctor. Okay? So this is a new beginning for your person, uh, unless your love is strong enough. And don't get me wrong, like I said on the bottom, you got the Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. This is your person. Now, can love overcome all the dead hell? Uh, we got Cookie and Irving. I don't know, or Magic Johnson and Cookie. They, they, they still here. So I don't know. Maybe your person loves you. Maybe you love your person enough. I don't know. It's twenty twenty one. Corona, I, I don't know. Good luck with that. But yeah, this this is this is done. You fumbled. Somebody really fumbled. Fumbled the bag here, okay? Uh, because pride is a devil, period. And uh, when you play with the devil, you may win and may feel good for a little while, but after that, the devil comes to collect. Alright. Listen, I love you with the highest love. One.